Wait, wait, wait. Read it again. The Lord will have mercy on the descendants of on Jacob. On the descendancy of Jacob. He will choose the Israel as special people once again. He will bring them back to sell it once again in their own land. Come on. And people from any different nation uh. will come and join them there and unite it with them. Oh! People of hey, hey, keep reading, keep reading. Oh, wow. Okay. And, and? And the nation of the world will help the people of Israel to return to those who come to live in the Lord land will serve them. Oh, what's the meaning of this, man? Get out of here, man. <laughs> that ain't what the Lord said, man. New believers. That is not what the Lord said, man. <laughs> That's why you got to get that King James. That's why you said that. King James. King James is cold, man. I like the King James. Hey, I get too close. New believers. What did you say? I guess you get a little close. I like the King James, though. Yeah, hey. I just found this Bible. Hey, that's the rated PG, yeah. man. Yeah, rated G. <laughs> that's rated G. The hell? But let me, let me, let me say something, though. Oh, one second. Let us read it the right way. Let us read it right. Let us read it right. This book, Look what the Lord said, man. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, and verse 1. Bring it yeah. up. For the hey, Lord, break it down, Malachi. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were. That's cold. That's a little different, man. They ain't saying nothing about no unity. Right there. They ain't saying no unity. I was trying to find the king. I just got here, though, bro. You know, I'm looking for it, though. That damn thing said united, man. Yeah. <laughs> they will help. They will help. They will help. I just want to do it because I said so. Right, right, right. It's just, it's just I hate hey, man, I like this. They keep doing this, man. Yeah, one more, one more. Get another cold dagger. Go to Revelation 3 and 9, man. Let me get one out of y'all. Of course. Of course. What a Revelation 3, what if, is that what I want? Or 2 and 9? Or 2 and 9. Two and nine. Wait, wait. But three and nine he, who would lead it into captivity? 13, 13 and 9. 13 and 9. Now I got brothers. Read, read that. Read that. book of Revelation, chapter 13, hey, verse 9. Watch this. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword what? must be killed with the sword. What that say? Revelation 13 and 9. What that say? What does that say, man? And King James is the best Bible of all time, man. Right. Right. Of all time. That's right. Word for word yeah. translation. 13, I'm word for word. Word for word. Yeah. Word for word. Word for word. Word for word. You gotta get a King James, man. I got I just found this Bible. I ain't, I ain't got no Bible. She got here. That's all right. We're gonna get you right. Got here. Revelation 13 and 9. That's it. Take your time. 13 and 9. Uh-huh. Put my glasses so y'all grab with me. Go ahead. Anyone who hear, I mean, anyone here to hear should listen and understand. Yeah, I got you. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm going to 10 now. Yeah. yeah. Anyone who dis, distance for prison will be taken to prison. Anyone distance to die by the sword will die by the sword. Anyone who what? Die by the sword. Anyone who is destined to die by the sword will die by the sword. Does this say that? It do not say that. Does not say that. No. Any man who's a murderer is going to be murdered. That's what the Lord said, man. Anybody, anybody who's putting people in slavery, you going into slavery. That's right. That's what the Lord said. See how they dress it up? He said, destined for prison shall go to prison. And we ain't getting on you. We getting on that. Yeah, we. It's not you. We don't like. It's not you. It's that. It's that. Get another. What type of translation is that? That's a new translation. They, they, that's yeah. the new. That's the new. Psalms 147 yo, and 19. Yo, yo, Psalm 147 Psalm and verse 19. Yo, what that, that say? Yo, that, oh, man, we're going to yeah, Obadiah. Obadiah. The book catch on fire. Yeah, yeah, but, <laughs> that does say new believers on it. It's <laughs> new believers. And, 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 what, and why is it called new believers? Because it, it want to bring people in. Uh -huh. It want to make it nice and comfortable. Hey, hey, the Lord ain't dealing with yeah, that. Right. Right. Okay, 147 and 19 says. He has revealed his word to be that. I can't see that. Let's stay this way. Stay this way. Wait one second. Read it out loud. He has revealed his word to Jacob. His decrees and relations to Israel. He has not done this for any other nation. They do not know his relations. Regulations. 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 Yeah, regulations. They say regulations. That was good. 
That's not bad. That's not bad. Not bad, not bad. That was all right. That was all right. That's not bad for the new believers, huh? All right, call it, call it. Uh, what is that? Song, uh, one... That's the song one. What's that? That's the little ones in the stone. 137. 137 and 9. Con. Right? Con. 137. Listen to this one. Yeah, yeah, seven. seven. Listen to this one now. This book of Psalms, 137. Hey, come here, Esau. <laughs> hey, man, read that. Book of Psalms. Can't make this up, man. 137, verse 7. Bring it up. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom and the day of Jerusalem, who said, raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. O daughter of Babylon, who are to be destroyed. Happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou hast served us. Happy shall he be that taketh and dashes thy little ones against the stone. That means we gotta smash them babies like they did the Native American brothers when they got off them boats. That's man. right. That's they right. smashed them babies I, I, against I, I, the wall. I'm gonna say real good, Paul. I learned from the King James. You see that? This that is, Psalm 137 and 9. I said it <laughs> I bet it don't even have that verse in there, man. Now nah, they got it. But how did how do they say it? Right. One thirty seven. Hey, cause the Lord said do not add or take, take away, away, man. That's right. They said we're gonna be united, huh? That's right. That's what it said. That's what it, it said. Do it hand in hand. It says uh one thirty seven nine says, Lord, Happy here. is the one who take your it. babies and smash them against the rock. Damn. Hey, oh, hey, 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 that's good. Hey. That's, that's good. good. Hey, clap hey, up for that one. Yeah, clap up for that one. Yeah, that's good. They mix in bitter with the uh -huh. sweet. Right. And you can't drink bitter and sweet from the same fountain. Right. right. That's why we deal with this, man. We was talking about it earlier. Uh, uh, Captain Tarak was bringing it out. Before when we get into that Mark 7 and we start talking about like, eating with unwashed hands, they say that Christ declared all foods clean. Right. That's not in there. That's not before, in there. Before I leave, I'm taking out the context. Bro. What's the scripture? Description is uh, go to Mark seven. Now say what you gotta say, but we gonna get something else. Out Let him go to Mark seven. We doing it. We we doing a test run. Okay, Mark seven. What's, what's now say what you about to say. The Bible says, "Not a man that walked to direct his own step." That's right. That's in Jeremiah. Jeremiah 10, 20, 23. Very good. Is that what he wants? Call it. Jeremiah ten twenty three. Jeremiah 10, it is not in man to direct his own steps. Oh, okay. yeah. That's what he's quoting. Times. Look at Jeremiah. I'm gonna come back though. I'm gonna come back, bro. Hey, we want to see something though. One, yeah, one last, one yeah, last, please. Come, this book of Jeremiah, chapter ten, verse twenty-three. Oh Lord, I know oh, that man. the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man that walketh to direct his steps. Cause who directs your steps? You already know. The most. High God. That's right. Yeah. So guess brothers what? in the spirit, man. That's right. That's right. What's that Mark seven say? Let me see that Mark seven and uh, what is it? Fifteen. Uh, sorry. Eighteen, yeah, I believe. No, fourteen. 18? Fourteen. No. No, no, we want we want where they're gonna add the insert. Oh, it's twenty. This Bible can't beat them. I don't know that. Yeah, yeah. I, we just want to see what it say. Go to verse twenty. What it say? Seven twenty. Yeah. Read that from the back page. Verse Do not add something like that. Verse verse twenty, right here. And then, and then he added, "It is what comes from inside that defiles that, 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 that defiles you." For from within out of a person's heart come evil thoughts, sexual, immorality, yep. thief, I mean theft, murder, adultery, no, greed. That's what I want. Right here. Um, read from Can't You See. Okay. Watch this. It's there. It's in there. Can't you see that the food you put in but that the food that you put into your body cannot defile you? Food doesn't go into your heart, but only passes through the stomach and then goes into the swirl. By saying this, he declared that every kind of food is acceptable in God's eyes. Acceptable. What scripture oh, is what this? Scripture is that? That's oh. not in the Bible. That's a lie. They added that. Yeah. How does it look? Did they put quotations around it? Nope. Yes, they did. Yep. Can you get it? Can you get a look at this? They put a, a, a bracket around it right there. Y'all see that? By saying this, see the bracket around it? Letting you know they added that. That's wicked as hell. Right. It does not say that in the Bible. He did not declare all foods clean. You can't eat no pork. You can't eat no shellfish, crab, octopus, lobster. 
You're not supposed to eat a damn horse. Right. Uh, alligator, alligator dog, frog, bird, snake, prey. roach. Right. You ain't supposed to eat that, man. See and how they added that for the new believers? Right. That's an Isaiah. Yeah. So you know, in the, 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 the book of James, before I leave, one more time. First James chapter 1, 1 through 6. Oh yeah, watch this shit. Get it for him, get it for him. Get it for him. James 1 through 6. What's your name? Lee. Brother Lee. That was uh, Mark 7 and 19. James chapter 1, 1 through 6. First John chapter 1 through 6. He said, test the spirit. What, James or? That's, that's first, first, John, first John. First John, yes, sir. First John. That's chapter, first John 4, 1 through 1, 1, 6. 1 through 6. Test the spirit. God, it's just this book of First John, chapter four, verse one. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Isn't that what you wanted? I want you number six. All, right. All the way to six. Hereby know ye the spirit of God. Every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God, and every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. Right. And this is the spirit of Antichrist. Ooh. Whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is it in the world. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Come on now. They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. We are of God. He that knoweth God heareth us. He that is not of God heareth not us. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Come on now. Come on, somebody. Break it down, Brother Lee. Man, look here, man. You got to test that spirit. It's already here. Yeah. I got all these people, false prophets out here saying certain different things out here. I got to make sure that if this is speaking the truth, because the devil will twist it on you. Mm -hmm. It ain't me a twist it. Mm -hmm. And I know that. And I got to be, the Bible says, you got to be watchful. You got to be watchful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you got you to gotta be alert of different things around you. Be sober. If you go to Matthew uh, 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 5, 5, Matthew 5, 7, 15, 16, it talks about that in that same category. Go there. Now he got in the spirit, yeah, but yeah. it's something that's missing, brother Lee. Yeah, you gotta keep the commandments, man. Right. Right? Right, right. And the faith in Christ. Right, right, right. The Bible says without faith, what? In the book of Hebrews 11, if you read 11, Hebrew 1 and 6, it talks about this. But see, what about the other half? Go to, go to James. I read chapter James, chapter 2. Right. Through 8. Come on now. Hey, the brother's in the spirit, man. <laughs> Who is this guy? Brother Lee. That's right. <laughs> Read. You want James 2? Yeah, we're, we're faith James. without works, man. Come the book of James, chapter 2 and verse 8. Gotta have both halves. Y'all out? Peace. Shalom. 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 Good questions. Come the book of James, chapter 2, 2 8. And verse 8. 2 2 8. 1 2 2 8. I'm sorry. 1 2 2 8. The book of James, chapter 2 and verse 1. No, no. My, my brethren, one. have not the faith of our Lord. 1 2 2 8. I thought you said 2. No, count the book of James, chapter 1, two to eight. and verse 2. My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations. That ain't what I want. I want a faith without works is done. It's James 2, 17. That's what I'm saying. You said one time. Read what I asked for, brother. This brother, brother Lee got to get oh, his own corner, man. Chapter God. two of verse Damn. James chapter two. Hey, the brother, <laughs> brother defected, man. Read, man. Look at James, chapter 2, and verse 17. Listen. Even so, faith, if it has not works, faith it's without works, it's dead. It's dead, being alone. Can't, uh, man, you can't just believe. Yeah. Yeah. See, if you go that back, ain't enough. Go back to Hebrews six. six. Go back to Hebrews eleven six. Read. He said faith without works. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The hell's this right here? What's going on right here? Faith. Come on now. This is right. I seen her long distance. Esau never gonna get the drop. Go ahead. Come this book of Hebrews, chapter 11 and verse one. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Uh, nah, he wanted to drop down chapter 11, 6, 11, 6. What is that? But without faith, it is impossible to believe. Huh? For he that comes from God. Yo. So we trying to break down. What is going on, man? We gotta go, man. We still gotta sing it. All right, brother Lee. What's the meaning of this? Peace. What's your name? What's your name? Rio. Rio, brother Lee yeah, and brother Rio. Rio. Hey, Shalom, yo. Hey, they, they came with the scriptures with what they had, right? That's hey. That's why it's important to go to camp. Right. Because them brothers got the proper reading 
for them scriptures they was holding. Right. They would have never got it no other way, man. Right. And why did Esau pull up and start doing karaoke? Talking about promise Wait. keepers, man. Wait. They the oath breakers in That's the right. earth. That's That's right. Right. What you holding, man? Read, read his precept now that he's gone. Because he's still called it. Give it for him. James? Yeah. No, he wanted in Hebrews. Hebrews, Hebrews 11. Oh, okay, Con. This book of Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. Check it out. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. That's uh -huh. right. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is. That's right. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. That's right. That's right. But you got to keep the commandments to be seeking him. That's right. That's right. You ain't seeking the Most High if you're not trying to do what he said. Right. You just what? Your faith is vain. Because right. you just believe it for nothing. Yep. It's kind of like... Christianity should have been solved this. Right. I don't understand how they got all these debates, seminary schools, and they don't understand that their breakdown is wrong. Right. They have to purposely be teaching They're it wrong. Because right. there's no way to mess this up. No. It is obvious and evident in the Old and New Testament that you have to keep the commandments. Right. It is evident. It's completely obvious. Right. They want to keep us away from the laws. Yeah. The laws is what's, is what's going to heal our community. It don't... It, when you really think about it, it don't make no sense. They got all these scholars, they got the records, the they history, got the manuscripts, right. they got the history, but they teach what they teach. It right. doesn't make sense. It does. It's a crafty council. Because the Trinity, number one, should have been like, yeah, been dismantled. Yeah, yeah, we threw that out. They should have threw that out. The, the, the Christ being the most high God. That, that should, should be, be thrown out. Thrown out. How's Christ going to be the Father and the sons at the same time, bro? No way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hey, 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 look, they're gonna say the mystery of God. Get that. I already know. Hold on. It's like it. I don't know. Go, go. Because look, they they'll go. Look, Christians do this. It's crazy. They will go to Revelation 22 and they'll read verse 16. Right? It says, "I Jesus have sent my angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star." Okay. And they will go there to say, well. If Christ is the root of David, that means he came before David and his ancestors. So that has to be the Most High God, because he's because he's the he was the Creator, Foundation of the Earth, right? No, that, that's no. weak. Go, go to Second, go to First no, Timothy two. That's wrong. Yo, 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 that's bad Bible. Bad Bible. Yo, we gonna show you. I got a cup for that show one. You, we gonna show you worse Bible than this. Go to Second. Go to Go to First Timothy two and fifteen. God. Bad Bible. Bible. And we, we may gotta put the clip. We may gotta put the clip in this video to show, like, a Christian breaking this down. Yes, it's it's atrocious. It's we'll atrocious. Take you down scripture break. It's First Timothy chapter two. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> it's First Timothy chapter two and verse five. Come on. For there is one God. For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. Now. There's one God, right. and there's a mediator in the middle between God and man, right. and that's Jesus. But Jesus is this guy too. How? Right. right. <laughs> no. How he broke this... that down was the God and the mediator is the one God and the mediator is both Jesus. Right. He, by by saying by basically saying right, like, <laughs> for there is one God. So he said that's the subject. See? God is the subject right here, and the one mediator between God and men. <laughs> right. So it's telling you. It's about to tell you who that God is. The man Christ Jesus. No, that's, not, that's crazy. That's how you broke it down. That's how you broke it down. Yo, that's, that's not good. Trash. I told I told I told I told, I told bro, I said, bro, you I said you you you're not reading that right. I said that's a that's a bad reading. And he got mad at me because I told him he read it wrong. We had to break down the proper usage of grammar to him. Right. Understanding what a comma is. What the subject of a sentence is. Look, they are determined to make a triune God. Yes. They are determined. They're going to bring this out. I don't want to Go ahead. First Timothy 3 and 16. And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh. Okay. Justified in the spirit. Okay. Seen of angels. Uh-huh. Preached unto the Gentiles. Uh-huh. See, everybody can be saved. Believed on in the world. Mm -hmm. Received up into glory. What's the mystery? The mystery of godliness. The mystery of godliness. Uh, I believe in this God was manifest in the flesh. Right. <laughs> but but that's that, the mystery. Is, How is that a mystery? But what does that mean, though? God being manifest in the flesh. But, uh, Christ was given the Spirit without measure. Right. Okay. Christ was given the Spirit of the Most High God by keeping the commandments and whatnot. Just like how God is supposed to be in all of us. Right. So now 
does that make all of us the most high God? No, and let's fix that statement. What does manifest in the flesh mean? God manifest in the flesh is someone who is living godly in the flesh. God manifested in the flesh. Nobody else did it. Nope. Go ahead. I got a question. Um, I think it's 1 Corinthians 11 and 3. All right. Oh, yeah, that's after Christ died. I mean, uh, yeah. Doesn't after that, Christ died. But yeah. doesn't that straighten out? Um, they, they call it an economic yeah. trait. <laughs> right, yeah, economic. Jesus is the Father, but he's subservient to the Father when he's in the mode of being Christ. That's how modalism. Is that, how is that an economic trinity if the Spirit, the Holy Spirit is not in that? The Holy Spirit is not mentioned in that. Now you're getting right. too complex. But that's that's what happens when we go down that path with our Christian brothers. Right. How many times is he going to go by? I learned that by hanging out with you guys. <laughs> yeah. I never knew that before. It is our now, position that the Trinity is the worst doctrine of the all time. The worst doctrine. Yes. Horrible. It's impossible. Wait, stop. Go to Exodus 20 and 1. How do I follow this law and believe in a trinity? This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 1. Bring it up. And God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which hath brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Now, aren't you, before me means in front of my face. Not. It's obvious you can't worship another god with greater fear than Yahweh and please Yahweh. Right. Obviously. Right. The Hebrew word is panya, means face, front, or mouth. You know what I'm saying? What he's really saying is, don't have any other gods in my sight or in front of my face. Don't ever disrespect me like that right. by giving my worship to another God, right. right? What are you doing when you make Jesus Christ equal to the Father? You worship the You're like, giving like Yahweh's like worship right. away. Right. You're not worshiping him as the son of God. Right. You transformed him into an entity that's equal to God in a different mode. Right. When no prophet says that right. and no two scriptures put together say that. Right. Right. You might get one scripture, right, that you can isolate you and you think it say that, but no two scriptures put together say that. They be playing games with Hebrews yeah. 1. They play games with uh, Timothy they play games with everything uh, in John, but then John cuts a lot of it. Yeah. Go to John 14, 28. And you, I know what you want, 21, uh, right? It's the book of John, chapter 14, and verse 28. Book of John, chapter 14, verse 28. Go ahead. Yeah. Hey, brother, read. Huh? Book of John, chapter 14, verse 28. And it reads. Ye have heard now I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. If ye love me, ye will rejoice. Because I said, I go unto the Father, for my Father is greater than I. Why we don't teach that? Why you Trinitarians do not teach that the Most High God is greater than Jesus Christ? You won't even say it. Mm. Right. I'll stop right there. Mm. This game right here is fire, bro. I got you, <laughs> Whoever know the Ock who make this, DM me, bro, so I can shout him out. This yeah, game right here is fire. You, call your family, call your friends, and come and play a game where we all see you to the end. And the truth of y'all, it's a game that you can get and call the truth of y'all. So what you waiting for, come get it, it's the truth of y'all. Learning the Bible never been more engaging, increasing biblical knowledge never felt so amazing. Renewing minds and saving lives all while chasing justice, equity, and truth that is unshaken. It's the truth of y'all. Come get it, we can play it, it's the truth of y'all. So what you waiting for, come get it, it's the truth of y'all. Come get it, we can play it, it's the truth of y'all. If you have not ordered the truth of y'all, I'm on board yet, click link in the bio, ASAP, or visit our website, thetruthofyall.com. Shalom.